always tracking, always alerting. Storm Team 8. I mentioned that we're pretty lucky. If we had the weather pattern we had last week, oh boy, we more than likely would have missed out on this with just buried underneath the clouds. And just cranking out the numbers over the past decade on this date, we averaged, well, less than 50% sunshine at 44%. And uh, so it's uh, pretty lucky that we get this today. You can see the clouds aren't really that far away. Uh, much of central western Wisconsin underneath a full overcast, also around uh, the Buffalo area, and much of Ontario underneath the clouds. Good to see Cleveland busting out of those clouds. Uh, it's still partly cloudy situation there. We're enjoying nothing but sunshine. I do expect a, a high thin layer of clouds to uh, develop, especially south southeast of Grand Rapids. But this is exactly what every meteorologist wanted to see, at least here in southwest lower Michigan. Let's take a look at the rest, uh, the rest of the path. You can see there will be some clouds out there, Little Rock, where uh, Bill Steffen and also uh, Sarah Flynn are. They're right on the cusp of some clouds out there, but I, I, during the live shot, I was able to see some sunshine. Good news for them. Paducah looking pretty good, Indianapolis, probably some high level clouds running through here uh, towards Columbus and Cleveland looking better. A couple days ago, it didn't look so great. Unfortunately, the Buffalo area, not so great and uh, much of upstate New York, but much of Maine looks like it will break out in some sunshine before the eclipse moves out of the United States. What's another cool thing about this eclipse is most of the United States, over 90% of it, will be able to view at least a partial or a piece of the eclipse. Uh, temperatures right now, here's the extra bonus all along the path of the eclipse. Temperatures are well above average. Right now, already 73 in Louisville, 70 in Indianapolis. We're at 63 degrees in Grand Rapids. This will be the warmest day of April so far and the warmest since, I think, all the way back until uh, May 13th, or I should say March 13th. Temperatures on the positive by good solid 10 degrees in Grand Rapids, 17 in Chicago, and also Milwaukee as that warm front continues to pivot to the north. These temperatures will also continue to warm by about another 5 to 7 degrees. Right now the wind's up southwest around 15 miles an hour, 24 in the Muskegon area, 11 in Kalamazoo. And uh, we're looking at some wind gusts between 25 and 30 miles an hour for this afternoon. So when you're out and about viewing those, uh, viewing the eclipse, just keep in mind, uh, it's going to be a bit on the breezy side, but again, it's a warmer wind out there. Here's a broad view. You can see where the clouds are, kind of a strip of some high, narrow, mid-level clouds, some high-level clouds, but nothing really is substantially thick. So here's the future cast, uh, 3 o'clock this afternoon. Warm front continues its progress to the north, and we should see a beautiful sunset this evening. But later on tonight, uh, with the cold front approaching, we'll have a chance of some showers out there. They'll be quite scattered, and a better chance to be north-northwest of Grand Rapids, towards Nuevo, Muskegon. Oceana Heart area and then that cold front moves through it may have a lingering early morning shower but that will quickly move out we'll see partly cloudy maybe mostly sunny conditions built in behind that front albeit uh, a little bit cooler tomorrow and we'll hang on to uh, some sunshine into Wednesday before clouds thicken up towards the tail end of the day whatever rain we get will be quite limited it looks like just a few hundredths of an inch and that's about it eight day forecast uh, featuring uh, cool weather and kind of a nasty system coming in for Thursday and Friday with rain showers, but fortunately the weekend we rebound with some sunshine and a warming trend. Okay, Matt, thank you.